Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I'm really excited to be doing today's video tutorial. I'm going to be showcasing the new click slash hover audio effects widget found at museforyoushop.com. So I have an example site here, and here we have the click slash hover audio effects. And the first example here is on click. So if I click on the the drum here, we have the drum sound. And I use the animator widget in conjunction with uh, the click slash hover audio effects to give this kind of an interesting animation to each of these. So we have the drum kick there. Here we have a clap. I don't have a snare drum there, but I decided to add a clap. And here I have a hi-hat. So we can make kind of a little drum beat. Okay, so you can have a lot of fun with this widget and you don't have to do drum sounds. I just decided to do uh, drum sounds for this, this example, uh, but you can do it with any sounds you, you'd like. Um, and over here we have on hover. So if I hover my mouse over it, we have the audio playing and I didn't have any animation on these so we can just see the example. So I can... I can go like that too. All right, so th that's the on hover and then we have the on click. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you where to access this widget and how to use it. So let's begin. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop-up here and here you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year by clicking here, or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here, or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking here on the click uh, slash hover audio effects, and then you can click on add to cart to purchase individually, or again, you can get all widgets and any new widgets widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Very good, so once you, down, you get the download file, it's a zip file, uh, you simply uh, unzip the zip file and then double click the .mulib file that comes in the zip file and it will all automatically install into Adobe Muse. So I'm going to open up my Adobe Muse website and click on the home page here and I have a blank website. Now the first thing I want to do is get those images of those different um, percussion instruments. Uh, so I downloaded a file from Dollar Photo Club which I believe now is Adobe Stock and I have it here so I'm going to right click open with Adobe Illustrator and here I'm going to use the snare drum, the kick drum and these hi-hat sticks here. So I'm going to copy this I'm going to hit Command C to copy, I'll go to File New and I want the artboard to be uh, 250 by 250 Okay, and I'll paste right in there and then I'll resize this, uh, this image here to 240 pixels in width and I'll just make sure it's in the center of the artboard by clicking the align tools here. All right, there's my first image, so I'll go to file, save for web, and then I'll go to save, and I'll just find that folder. Very good, so I'll save it here in this folder. I'll just say muse for you, image dash one. Okay, so then I'll get the other one, the snare drum here, and I'll just delete this one here, paste it in there, and again, I'll resize it to 240 by 240. Make sure it's aligned in the center. And I'll go to File, Save for Web. Then I'll click on Save. And I'll save this as Muse for You Image-2. Then I'll go to the hi-hat sticks here. Paste that in there. And perfect. And just align it again. Then I'll go to File, Save for Web. And click on Save. Then I'll say Muse for You Image 3. Okay, perfect. So I have the three images, so I'll just go back into my Adobe Muse website and I'll click back and I'll just select those images, these three images here. So I'll click, hold and drag and place them like that onto my Adobe Muse website. Very good, and I'll just align this one in the center. Perfect, and I'll align this one here. And perfect, so now I have my three images here. And so now I'll grab the 
uh, the click slash hover audio effects, I'll just go to my library panel here to the right. If you don't see your library panel, you can just go to window and click on library and it'll bring up the library panel. And one thing I want to mention is that I used a really good audio script for this widget. So the audio will work on all browsers and all devices. Um, so I'll scroll down here to the uh, click slash hover audio effects widget. And yeah, I'll just click the drop down. And at first for the first uh, audio effect, you want to do the audio effects widget initial. So I'll just click hold and drag and place right there. And I'll just put it over here to the to the side. So here we have click slash hover audio effects initial. And here we have instance, here are the widget options. And here we have instance number. So for this first one, you can always leave it at one. And then we have the graphic style name. Uh, by default, it's audio one. Here you can add an MP3 file, uh, a .ogg file, and a uh, .wav file. Um, .ogg and .wav are optional. Um, I, I did quite a bit of testing with this widget and um, usually they say that you, you can add .ogg for Firefox, but if you just add .mp3, it will work in Firefox. Um, I'm not sure if it's the new update in Firefox, but I know Firefox needed .ogg, but currently in, in the browser that I'm using now, the Firefox browser, uh, it works fine with just .mp3. So uh, if you want to be safe, you can add .ogg, but the only one that's really necessary, I would say, is the .mp3 but these two are optional just if you want any fallbacks for your audio. So here's where you add the audio, and then you have the option of auto-playing when the user first opens the website. Um, that sound can auto-play. Um, this would probably work well if you, if you have like a song or you know some type of lengthy audio. Maybe for an effect, it might not be that great, or it could work depending on what you're going for. Um, here you can loop the audio. When you click on it, you can have the audio loop. You can buffer the audio. If the audio is really, uh, if it's a long, like let's say it's a song, or it's a really long audio, you can have it play right away by having it buffer so it doesn't have to load the whole song first before it plays. So buffering just allows you to play right away so that it loads while it's playing and, and it can play right away if it's a, if it's a long audio file. And then here we have volume. You can set the initial volume uh, between 0.1 and 1. Very good. And the rate, you can speed up the audio. You can pitch it up by setting the rate higher. So you can have like that squirrel effect. Like if it's if you have a voice, you can pitch up the audio. And then here you can select uh, hover or click. You can do on hover, on click or on hover. And so you just select click or hover here. And then here you can say stop sound on mouse leave. So if you click and then your mouse goes off the element, um, the sound will stop. And if you uncheck this, the sound won't stop. Okay, so th those are the widget options. As you can see, you have a lot of control over how you want to use the this widget in your Adobe Muse website. So now I'll click on add file and I'll click on this kick sound and it adds to the widget. So to, to make this widget work, what we need to do is add the graphic style name audio one to the element that we want to play the kick drum on. Because here in the graphic style name, it says audio one. I want to click on this first element and then in my graphic styles in Adobe Muse, I have it here in, in my panels. If you don't see your graphic styles, you can just go to window and click on graphic styles and it'll bring it up. But I'll click on graphic styles here. And then to create a new uh, graphic style, you just click on this icon that looks like a piece of paper. So I'll click on it and then for the style name, I'll say audio one. Very good, now this assigns the graphic style name audio one to this image which corresponds with the graphic style name of the widget, which is audio one. So for the settings, I have it to work on hover and to stop sound on mouse leave, and I don't have any autoplay, loop, or buffer. So let's preview this in the browser. So I'll go to file, preview page, in browser. And then when I hover my mouse over this uh, file, it plays a kick drum. Now you'll notice a bit of clipping if I leave my mouse over it. And that's because when I leave, when I remove my mouse from the element or uh, move my mouse off the element, it stops the audio. And if it stops in a, in a weird place, it will clip. And this is why I set the option that you can allow to not stop the audio when your mouse leaves. Um, and this works like not stopping the audio works well for really short clips. So I'll click, I'll uncheck stop sound on mouse leave. And then I'll go to file preview page and browser. And then we just have the audio. And it works well because this kick drum doesn't play for a long time, so it'll just play. And then if you mouse over it again, it just sounds really good. 
and there's no clipping. Now, for for a longer audio file, you might want to stop. Um, you might want to click the option stop, stop audio on mouse leave, uh, because if the user doesn't want to play through the whole audio, they can just move their mouse off the element and it'll stop the audio. Okay, very good. So that's the kick drum. So I'll add it to the snare drum here and these hi-hat sticks here. Very good. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my library panel. And for any other effects after the initial, you want to select the click slash hover audio effects widget additional. So I'll click, hold, and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And you can see here the instance number is 2 and the graphic style name is audio 2. So I'll just add the mp3 audio. So I'll click add file and then I'll add a clap and yep that's it and i'll leave it on hover and i'll uncheck stop sound on mouse sleeve okay and then i'll just copy this additional widget so i can add the hi-hat and then i'll just click the widget options for instance number i'll say three and for audio i'll say three or the graphic style name i'll say audio three and then i'll just change the audio and i'll add the hi-hat here the hi-hat file Okay, and I have it on hover, looks good. And now I have to add the graphic style names to these images. So here I have the snare drum, which I added the, the clap sound to. So I'll go to graphic styles and I'll create a new graphic style and I'll say audio two. And then for the hi-hat sticks here, I'll say, I'll create a new graphic style and call this audio three. Okay, and that's it. So now I go to file preview page in browser and I have the sounds there to each of these elements. All right, very fun. So now I'll just set it to on click. So I'll go to each widget option and I'll say click for the uh, on click or hover. Okay, and I'll go to file preview page and browser. All right, very good. Just having a little fun there. All right, so we have those there. And now for fun, I'm just gonna add some animations from the animator. So I'm gonna go to my library panel. I'm gonna use the animator widget found here, and I'm gonna use the initial. And because we've already assigned graphic style names, I'm just gonna say audio one for the graphic style name. And I'm gonna say shake here, because I want the kick drum to shake. And I want it to shake really fast. For, so for the animation duration, I'm gonna say 500 uh, there. And I want it to work on hover and that's it. And then for any additional animations, I wanna select the animator additional. And there it is. And then I'll just say audio two, instance number two. I want this to, yeah, we'll leave it on bounce. Yep, that looks good. And again, I'll set the animation duration to 500 seconds and animation on start. And now I'll just add another uh, additional. Very good, I'll just copy this one here. And so we have another animator additional. And here I'll just say audio three for the graphic style name and instance number three, animation duration 500. And here I want it to swing. Okay, and on hover is already set because we copied it from the previous animator here, this previous additional animator. All right, so there's the animator effects. So now I'll go to file preview page and browser and the animator can be found at museforyoushop.com as well. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Uh, that's how you use the click slash hover audio effects uh, from museforyoushop.com. So to access this widget, again, you just go to museforyoushop.com and click here on the pop-up. And you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year, or you can subscribe here with PayPal. Or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking on the click uh, slash hover audio effects and then clicking add to cart, or again, you can get all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year by clicking here and subscribing. 
So that's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. And again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.